Hello and welcome back to Gapey's Greenhouse. This is probably going to be the last pepper update of the season because I've started ripping out peppers and they're not going to be around much longer. So I've only got three peppers here on the left side. I've got the habanada, which just refuses to ripen. I've only picked maybe three or four peppers on this thing, but it's fully loaded. Um, this one looks like it might be trying to ripen here, but other than that, they're all still pretty, pretty green. Um, actually, here's another one that looks like it might be trying to ripen back there. Um, but there's a lot of green on here, so we'll see how long we can keep those going. And then we've got the ahi tangerine, which has been putting out quite a few pods, but they're super thick walled peppers, so they're taking forever to ripen. Um, I've gotten a few of, there's some little tiny ones, I don't know if you could see that one hiding back there, but that's a, a ripe one here, but it's pretty tiny. So that's a little tiny pepper there, um, but we've got a lot of kind of different shaped ones here. I think the the shape that is ideal is more of a, a roundish one, kind of like this, but um, a lot bigger. Not sure if I could find any more. I picked a few earlier in the season, but I'm not seeing too many. Here's one that's kind of, this is more of the ideal kind of a shape here. And then we've got the Sugar Rush Striped, which has a lot of unripe peppers on them. They're really light colored green, kind of similar to the Habanada. Um, and then they're going to ripen to a stripey color. And they actually turn a little bit light orange first before they start getting the stripes. Um, you can see this one here is just starting to get some striping on it. And here's one. This one probably has the most stripes here because um, I've been picking them pretty often. So there's not any that are super ripe on there right now. And those are the only three on that side of the greenhouse. And then over here on the other side, I still have the Kangstar white tie. And we've got quite a few peppers here that are ripening up and I'll be saving a bunch of seeds from these. And these are, this is actually a fairly hot Thai pepper. I gave some to a, a friend a few weeks ago and she, they were a lot hotter than she was expecting. And then we've also got the fire finger, which is a cluster, another cluster type pepper. Um, that's a Thai pepper and we've got some ripe ones hiding in there, but we've got quite a few green ones there. And then we've got our Korean gochu, and I don't see any, looks like there's maybe one ripe, one couple ripe ones that are starting to turn here, but they turn kind of a really dark color before they start turning red. But we've got, again, quite a few. So here's one that's just starting to turn, it gets a really dark kind of a brownish color. And then we've got our paprika luchauer, which has a lot of green pods on it and this is about the size they get so these should start turning ripe soon. I'm surprised none of these are, are starting to turn red yet because they shouldn't be getting too much bigger than what they are right now. And then down here are all the bonnets. So we've got the lemon starburst and as you can see I've been trimming these back pretty heavily so you can see a lot of the pods a lot easier now. So this one here is the lemon starburst so we've only really got two kind of branches that are left on this one. This one is just starting to turn yellow there. And we've got another one back here that's turning yellow. And then behind that is the Bohemian Beast. And this one gets, eventually these will turn red, um, but they're pretty orange right now. And we've got quite a few green ones and, and anything that's really tiny like this, I'll, I'm just going to pick off because there's no way that's going to get the size that needs to be to ripen. But most of these are pretty good size, so I think they'll probably ripen up at some point. And then next to that is the Freeport Scotch Bonnet, and we've got quite a few ripe ones here that are probably ready to pick, and that's a pretty nice light orange colored pepper. Again, one of my favorite colored peppers that I grew this year. It's kind of a unique orange that I haven't seen before. And then in front of that is, uh, let's see, this is the Elysium Scotch Bonnet that ended up being a red color. And it's, it ends up turning a pretty deep red and none of these are quite all the way ripe yet, but that one is getting pretty close. It's a nice dark orange, but we've got 
mean, this thing is pretty loaded with pods and they're nice size and nice shape pods. So we're going to have a lot of peppers on there that are going to be ready here pretty soon. And then next to this one is a, actually a pretty big surprise. This one is the gator jigsaw that I thought was going to be a... I was getting ready to... I was just about to pull this one out because it hasn't been performing really at all. But it's starting to come around actually. So you can see there's a pod here and we've got a few branches with pods actually. There's one here with a few pods. I'm not sure if this is the shape that they're supposed to be, but this is kind of what, what they're coming out to be. None of them are really ripe yet, but I think they'll probably get pretty close. So we've got another couple of big tall branches with a few pods on them. So none of these, I haven't got a ripe pod on this thing yet, um, but I'm hoping that these might be able to have time to ripen up. And then behind that, see that's the Fatali. That's a red Fatali. A lot of these red peppers are taking a while to turn red. They're just staying a dark orange for quite a while. So hopefully I might have to pick them while they're orange and let them finish up, finish ripening up inside. But we've got lots of peppers that are starting to churn on that one. And then we've got a little branch, I guess one big branch left of the pineapple habanero. I've been picking branches off of this one and putting them in water inside and it seems to be ripening up pretty quickly inside that way but I left one branch on the plant and we've got a few pods that are starting to ripen on there and then we've got the Nebru 7 so that was one of my biggest hot peppers this season and I've been picking a lot of these and we've got quite a few all those yellow peppers yellowish orange peppers back here are all the Nebru 7 um, but it's and it's got some branches back there too so that one is doing really well I'm gonna be making some hot sauce with a lot of these peppers here pretty soon and then we've got the ghost pepper here and this is another one that is it's been it's more of a dark, really dark orange color you can see some pods back there so it, it hasn't really ripened to a really all the way red it's just a really really dark orange but we've got a lot of pods here that are just going to be um, ripening up here soon hopefully and then the last one back here is the black panther and you can see a lot better now that I've cut off some of these branches back here um, but we've got a lot of black pods still this one is really really dark and then they're starting to ripen to red and it's it seems to be keeping a little bit of the black on the pods Here's some more back here. They're a really neat, neat color. It kind of looks like they're roasted, but lots of black pods on here. I could probably use a little bit of a, a trim on that one. So I'll probably be coming back out here later and trimming off some of these extra branches that are out here. Uh, but that's all that's in the greenhouse. Um, I still got a couple peppers outside of the greenhouse and I'll show you how those are doing. So this one is not much left to look at. This is the Peach Peter Reaper. So I've only got, I picked two pods earlier today, but we've only got one, two, three, and four pods left. And most of the leaves have already dropped. So um, this one isn't gonna be lasting too much longer. It's pretty much done for already. Um, but it's gotten down to 30 degrees and it just did not like that. However, we've got the Rokoto peppers and surprisingly, it doesn't look like they've taken too much damage from the 30 degrees. And I didn't even cover them when it got down to 30 degrees, but they still have most of their leaves. Um, and there, there are some that are starting to ripen here. So this is the pineapple ricotto. So we got one there ripening up and then another one back here. And then the one next to that is the ahi lucento. And we've got a couple pods or actually maybe just one pod here starting to ripen up and this one's going to be turning red but we've got one pod there and one here so only two pods left on that plant but we've got a whole bunch on the red ricotto but none of those are looking like it's gonna be changing 
to red here anytime soon, so I might not get any more off of this one. I might try picking them and see if they'll ripen inside, but they're not looking too good out here, so we'll see what happens. And I don't know, some of these stems, I don't know if something is is eating those, but the stem on some of these are, you can see they're kind of turning brown, so I'm not sure what that's from. Um, and that's that's it for the peppers. Let me take you inside real quick and show you what I got going on in there. So these are all the unripe ahis that I picked last week. So some of them are, you can see, some of them are starting to ripen up, but these were pretty much all green when I picked them last week. So hopefully more of these start ripening up. And then I've got some pepper branches in vases of water. So as I mentioned before, I've got the pineapple habanero in here. So you can see quite a few of the pods are starting to ripen up here. So I think it's working out pretty good, pretty good for the... Oh yeah, I, I tried putting a habanada in here too, but I don't know that that's going to be... So far none of those have turned ripe, but I just put one branch in there just to see what would happen. And then I've also got some ricottos in some vases too, but I'm not seeing... I don't think I'm seeing anything that's ripening up yet. They're all still pretty green. Um, so we'll see what happens with that one. And then I've got a basket full of peppers here that I need to, these are the ones that are fully ripe. So I need to either dry those or make some hot sauce out of those. And then this is another basket full of kind of partially ripe and unripe, um, hot peppers. So hopefully those will get ripened up and then we can do some more hot sauce with that. All right. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again soon.